Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite med student here, Anthony, and I'm back again with another video. I haven't said that in such a long time and I have a good reason for it. I have been studying for my exams straight through. You know when exams come, you had a you had a lockdown, you, you can't distract, you have to prioritize your work. People always say a good doctor is one with experience. But you can't move forward if you fail the exam so you have to you know have to be off the radar for a bit but i'm back today we're going to be talking about the application process we're going to be talking about how to do your application i'm going to give you some tips on how i did my application and how you could spoose spoose up your application i'm not talking about grades routes or requirements i did all of that in a video titled how to get into medical school you could go and watch that video for a little bit of insight of how you could get into medical school as always don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe 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 it helps me a lot and you will helping a little tobago boy's dream come true before we get into this video i want you all to get all of these documents here ready get these documents ready please get them ready because you don't want to start your application finish it and then have to be running around trying to find these documents asking your mom to go and look behind your cupboard or below your bed to go get your documents no find them first get them ready get them in your hand before you start because some of these documents you might need to put them into your application and these documents is what you need to hand in if you are an international student you will have to scan these documents and send it in with your application or if you're a local student you have to hand it in to the admissions department at UV in St. Augustine or wherever you go whether it's Mona, Cave Hill, St. Augustine you will have to hand in these documents all of these documents are required whether whichever university campus you're in right or even if you're not doing MBBS or anything under the medical bracket you will need these documents still so get these documents in your hand that was the first tip second tip now know what you want to do know what you want to do let me say it for the people in the back know what you want to do a lot of students a lot of students just want to sign up for university to get that university experience you come out with a degree and you cannot use the degree because there's no job all right please know what you want to do know what degree you want to get into right and kind of do a little bit of research all right around it do not let anyone pressure you to be doing any degree so after you finish finding your documents and you know what to do you're gonna start the application right to start the application you're going to the UE website and you're gonna click start application or begin application and when you click that you have to create an account right so you're gonna put in your username you're gonna put in a password and all of that then it's gonna direct you to another page that's saying undergrad or postgrad right you're gonna select undergrad if it's your first degree or you're gonna select postgrad if you already did a degree and you want to further your studies in that degree or a certain part within your degree okay so remember that after that you have to put in your information and your details such as your name uh, where you're from and stuff like that and then they're gonna send you to a part where you have to select your certain degree a specific degree now this video is geared for medical students but if you're not a medical student or you want to do like something like business studies and stuff like that it's still you can still watch it you're gonna put what you desire first what degree that you want to do first right so for me i wanted to do medicine so i put mbbs first right however there's also other choices like you could select a second third and fourth choice right and i use my choices it has some people who didn't use it some people was they had high high feet that they would have got into medicine my feet wasn't that high so i used all four options right and i put everything under the medical bracket i put everything right my choices were medicine mbbs uh dentistry veterinary and opt optometry all of those was under medical faculty i thought thought that even if you got into another faculty or another school they could have used that and transfer into like if i got into dentistry i could have transferred into me uh, medicine no nada you can't do that so i put everything because i had little faith but i am happy that i got into three of those four and one of those three was mbvs so i was happy to get into mbvs because that's that's what i wanted anyways so use the options right use them right but make sure it's things that you want to do make sure it's things that even if you didn't get into your desired choice you still will be happy doing the degree nonetheless 
So after you finish all of that, you'll come to a page where you have a lot of things that you have to fill out. A lot of subsections of things, right? It's a lot to do, right? It's a long application. And my third tip or my fourth tip is to do not rush this application. Take your time with the application. It's open for months, months and then. I didn't say to take months with it, but just take your time with the application. I know some people just rush it down in one day, hand it in, and you feel bad. Now you feel you had to worry, 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 whether then you work on your application, you perfect it, and then you have more confidence in yourself that you're gonna get accepted into your program of choice, right? So take your time with your application. There's a button below that saying, finish later use that button you have a account with them you can always log back in and finish your application after you've done all of that you'll come to your end and you have like a confirmation sheet or a confirmation receipt right when you get that confirmation receipt fly when you get that confirmation receipt print it and have it or save it on your pc or macbook whatever you have so you because that is what you need as proof that you did your application right and on that receipt will also have the same documents that i told you earlier that you have to hand in and more yes for those that are doing medicine you have to hand in extra documents or extra stuff to your application which is the autobiography and your supplementary sheet too right Let's talk about the autobiography. The autobiography is basically asking the question, why should they accept you into medicine? Like what, what qualities do you have? What, why medicine? What make you want to do medicine? And you have to answer it as, this is why I want to do medicine. I want to do medicine because da 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 da, right? You have to, uh, you have to pour your heart out into it. Whatever the reason why you want to do it, take your time. Do your autobiography it's just 300 words right do your autobiography reread it perfect it give somebody else to read and see their their reaction to it right i did that i took about like let me say a couple of days with mine i read it i i i i perfect it i changed it up a bit you know um i give my family to read and i saw their reaction if you give somebody to read and they they are on their phone or they they have nothing to say okay it's sound good bye that ends sound good change it they have to have a reaction they have to when they when, when they finish the face must be like wow wow you know you want to surprise them because these are things that sets you apart from the other applications remember there's many students applying here right and many of them have good grades we ain't talking about grades right but many of them have good grades so now we have you already have good grades you have good grades too i have good grades too but we want to know they want to know what could set you apart from the rest what you could bring why should you be here and after the autobiography they the supplementary sheet too this is the supplementary sheet too that adds extra points to your application that's what they say right so it look at volunteering work if you're in any sports club drama club what 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 are you all kind of all around this student that you right it entails a lot of different things that you have to go around into your certain clubs or organizations and stuff like that and you have to get their yeah their signature and you have to get a stamp also on the supplementary sheet there's a part where it asks have you like um did any previous medical work have you like shadowed a doctor have you been around a medical environment tip five try your best to have at least 40 hours of medical shadowing in any medical environment if you can and you know someone who's a doctor or you know someone who can put you into work in the um in the hospital or your clinic um try and do it you know just not to say that you're going to like um heal patients or anything you're just going to observe you're going to observe and see how the doctor does their job how you know just to be inclusive into the medical environment right because that is what you want to go into and it looks impressive on your application that you're already within the medical field you're already within the medical environment right so get at least 40 hours least 40 hours of shadowing in the respective fields okay whether if it's dentistry whether if it is veterinary whether if it is um medicine 
you have to get some hours in right and shadow some doctor that you know right so now after you've done that after you get your supplementary sheet your autobiography you finish your application have your your confirmation receipts and your supporting documents all you need to do now is hand it in ask them whether you could scan and hand it in or you could bring it in to the office whichever one uh, i know you is opening 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 now so you might have to um hand it in to the office i believe but ask them beforehand so you know what you have to do right you don't want to go there and they say you could have scan it and they leave your good good house to go up there for nothing after your application and after you handing everything you can track where your application status is what is your application status right and i always would tell people this is my sixth tip i believe right always hand in your application way before the deadline date why that will make you get an earlier acceptance do you want you want to know your acceptance status earlier rather than later right and there's like three acceptance period so the first acceptance period is like mid-august right mid-august before school starts in september so like mid-august the second acceptance um period is like coming to the end of august right and the third is in september the best time is mid or even before august because you will have time to prepare you have time to go get yourself together you have time to go get your books your equipment your rental if you have to rent there is cases where when you hand it in early you can get late acceptance right and that is because they found something faulty on your application or it's something wrong with your application itself right like your online application I remember I spoke on this on one of my videos called um, how I got into medical school uh, I told you all that I waited 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 right I waited in suspense all my friends got through I did with, with them I handed it in with them and they got their acceptance right and I was like waiting 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 so I called the university themselves I was like hello what's going on and they were saying they wasn't seeing my application they wasn't seeing my online application right it wasn't on my part I had my confirmation receipt remember I told you that is important your confirmation receipt is important keep it with you right I had my confirmation receipt and I told them hello hi I have my my receipt here I did my application hi and they went and they found it and I got acceptance right away because hi but let me not say right away right but I got my acceptance I got accepted right so always remember if you're not getting a response it is your responsibility to check up oh god the sun in my eyes now it's your responsibility to check up on your let me close this remember it is your responsibility to check up on your application call in and ask what is going on what is the status especially if it's way past like if it's mid-september and you haven't got a response yet call in and ask them what is going on right you have that right right you have that right because sometimes sometimes it could just be that your application um it just have a problem with it and you didn't know you just waiting 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 and they didn't even see your application in first place in first place and then what happened so it's make it your responsibility after a certain time which i would say after the 6th of september 6th of september go and especially this year if you're going in this year if you haven't if you haven't got a response by 6th of september but call them and ask them what is going on right to see if you were rejected or if you were accepted if you're still seeing tba to be announced still ask what is going on right it may be your luck that you may be accepted and you just didn't know or you had a glitch in their system all right uh i think that's it i think that is everything i have to say if you have any more if you want any more information or anything or anything that i leave out and have questions to ask always hit me a dm on instagram which is anthony gadad with the extra df to gadad right 
or comment drop a comment down here in the comment section and um yeah i will respond when i have a chance to and subscribe subscribe we are almost to a thousand subscribers whoa anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon hopefully bye guys